Hey guys, uh, little story about the brook trout. Um, I want to give a shout out to Trout Boy 26 because he inspired me to fish brookies a little bit harder this year after he caught an 18 incher. It's a beautiful trout, he's getting it mounted. So me and my wife went out tonight, we were uh, bass fishing and there was trout in the lake and brook trout of course and uh, we're fishing some brookies earlier, 40 feet of water, nothing. So we went to the shoreline and we were catching some uh, bass and we were catching some earlier during the day and then I had showed her a log that I was catching bass by. I said, cast your apple by that log. And she was like six feet away from it. I said, you got to get a little bit closer. She cast it again like six feet away. I said, you got to get a little bit closer. She says, well, you do it then. So I threw my minnow over there. I jigged it twice. And I thought I had one of the biggest bass of my life on until I see this troll come up. And if it wasn't for her, I probably would have never landed the troll because we didn't have a net. I used a number four eagle claw. And I've never seen an eagle claw hook and bend before. This hook was half bent. Um, I ended up landing them with my hands, as you guys will see in the video and stuff. Um, I'm showered up now, but we got back to my buddy's house a couple, uh, maybe 20 minutes ago. And um, the trout ended up 4 pounds, 4 ounces. I think it was probably a little bit bigger than that, but I'll settle for that. Because taking it out of the water, putting it back in the water, putting it in a bucket, bringing it to town. Um, I was thinking about getting it uh, mounted. I'm not going to because I'm going to... I'm going to catch one bigger. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. It's not the best, but uh, we probably caught 20 bass today and one trout. So until the next video, peace. Going fishing. Not a lot, but enough. I got more in my tank. Oh. Holy shit, I almost fell in. Not a big bass, but got him on a tiny torpedo. My wife just caught one a little bit smaller than this on a white jitterbug. Or a white Mr. Twister. We'll do a... On a minnow. Wow. I'll get back to you guys. I'm gonna get this on the stringer. Oh shit, this has got to be a five pound brookie. Let me shut it off. Alright guys. Oh, shit. Stringer broke. Anyways, back to him. He's 21 and a half inches. I'm gonna guess, gotta be all a, he's well over four pounds. And I'm gonna show you what I caught him on. 
a little minnow like that. That's it. I snapped my line here last time, five times at this lake. I thought they were all bass and one trout, but now I'm beginning to believe that maybe they were all trout. I put Power Pro on. I was showing my wife where to cast by a log. I'm like, cast right there for a bass. Well, I casted there and I caught the biggest trout of my life. 10 feet from shore. I probably shouldn't be putting them back on this stringer, but I'm gonna I'm gonna double hook them. I'm still shaking. Well, anyways, what a fish! See you guys later. Hold it. Wait. I don't know if you guys can see them, but there's. A loon nest right here out on this bog and there's two eggs in it. Both mama and daddy loon are out there they're sleeping they were hollering earlier now they got their their uh, heads are right laying on their backs. We're just in here bass fishing caught a trout on accident and just happened to come up upon the nest well see you later. Just another little guy. 